Hello everyone, um, I've got what I am hoping is a couple of bargains to open up uh, this evening um, and I thought you might like to join me and have a look. Um, here they are. So without further ado, um, I'll just get their camera set up and um, we'll open up the package and have a little look. Okay. So before we get to the main event, uh, I thought I'd update you on the last ones that I got, that I had quite a number of views on the last ones. Um, I showed you a big old stack of Beatles records that I got maybe three or four weeks ago um, with a big old poster as well. Um, I paid 140 quid for all of them and I did pretty well out of that. Um, I sold the White Album um, included in that pack for 157 quid saw the poster for uh 50 quid um still got a couple of them kicking around but uh yeah did okay out of that um these ones that i've got today are probably all for the flip i can't really see any particular reason why i would keep any of them um but so so hopefully that'll get me a little bit of christmas cash um firstly i'm going to show you one that i got a couple of weeks back um and then i'll open the ones that i've received today so, this is, this was an absolute steal. So, as you can see, it is a copy of With The Beatles, with really a pristine sleeve. And a pristine Emitex inner. And have a look at this. Ain't she a beauty? So that's side B. You can see that this doesn't have the misprint. Um, the got a hold on me misprint on side B. So that means, well, I would call that a second pressing. Um, that is a beautiful copy um, and I actually got change from 15 quid for that little beauty so that was a win um, I had had that on sale a couple of weeks ago um, or 10 days ago but I decided to take it off um, for reasons that hopefully will become clear when I show you these uh, these I ordered ages ago but because of the Royal Mail strike They've only just turned up. I think they took maybe 10 days. So hopefully they've been worth it. Um, didn't pay a whole lot for these. Um, the listing was, as often is, quite nondescript. It said some of the sleeves are a bit tatty. And it said all the records play fantastic. So let's have a look. I've also got a book here, which, to be completely frank, I'm not all that interested in. Um, but yeah, I got these um, for a really damn good price. And so they would have to be pretty beaten for me to not at least break even. I'm hoping to earn a little bit of Christmas money, obviously. So we'll br I'll briefly show you the book. So that's the book. I can't actually say I've ever seen it. I think it's quite a new item. Um, it's certainly going to be worth a little flick through, but it wasn't the main reason that I bought this lot. Into the main event. Sorry, this takes a while sometimes. So yes, some of the sleeves are a bit tatty. But the records play fantastic. I know for a fact that a couple of them have got the, their original inners, which to me usually 
is a pretty good signal that they've basically been well looked after. So let's have a look. So we've got, let's take these out of the way. So as you can see, we've got a hard day's night in mono. Okay, so this is from a smoking home. You can tell that there is quite a lot of discoloration on the back panel. However, that's about as bad as a thing as you can say for the sleeve. It's otherwise clean and tidy. It's got a decent spine. So the big reveal, let's have a look. This is what it's really going to boil down to, the condition of the records. Okay. Um, right. Well, the light isn't in my on my side. But first signs of that look promising, don't you think? That hasn't seen a great deal of action, I don't think. Um, so that's the side A. And that side B. That bit. Where's that? Might be. Oh, don't know what that is. Can you see it? I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Um, the playing surfaces look great on this record. I've got no reason to think that that's not going to be a nice playing record. So. Right, and that's got to be at least, it's got to be 20 or 25 quid's worth, hasn't it? Surely to God. It's an original period yellow and black Beatles record in decent shape. This one hopefully is going to be a similar story. So this is Help in mono, presumably from the same collection. It's a little bit discoloured along the edge there but once again that's about as bad as you can say it's got a nice spine not the rarest of records but these yellow and black ones saying that these yellow and black ones are increasingly rare to find at a decent price anyway so there is side a no disappointment so far there is side B. Once again, you would hope that I can start bidding on that, subject to a play test, of course. You would hope that I can start bidding on that at 20 quid and get at least a handful of bids without breaking too much of a sweat. Good. All right, so now we've got third of four. So this is Beatles for sale. This is a bit ridiculous, actually, because this, I think, is now my fourth copy of Beatles for sale that I haven't, that I've got to sell um, for no particular reason. OK, so that is the sleeve. The sleeve is nice. If you know anyone that wants to buy four copies of Beatles for sale, then drop me a message. OK, so no inner sleeve on this. Um, I don't actually have a spare for this. Um, so that's side A. Again, basically looks in nice nick. And there is side B. A little bit of a ding there, do you see that? Um, and in need of a clean, I would say. But again, basically decent. Okay, it's not Definitely not a beater by any means. Now, this is the one that I've been quite excited about. And I would imagine that you'll guess why. Um, right. So this is the worst of the damage to all four of the sleeves. Unfortunately, look. That's a little bit naughty there. That's that will hugely devalue it. And that's the back of the sleeve. Again, you can tell it's from that same probably smoking household as a lot of them were back in the 1960s there's the spine okay 
there's the inner sleeve. I really hope this one is nice. Okay, that's looking pretty tidy. That should play absolutely fine, I think. And this really is the exciting bit because, as you can see, it's an extremely rare first press with the spelling error there. You really got a hold on me. And it's also got the incorrect credit for money, um, which makes it a very rare beast indeed. You don't often see these at all. And so if you hadn't already guessed, my game plan with taking the first one that I showed you off the market is so that I can combine the first press record with the nice sleeve. Let's just compare them back to back to make sure they look the same because the lighting is known to be different on variations of this sleeve. And I think we are very much talking about the same sleeve. So I can get away with putting that around the first press. Later editions, you may or may not know, you could actually, it was light enough that you could see their left eyes. But on the very, very early sleeves, you couldn't. Oh, and you can also see that it's got the misprint there and indeed the misprint there so if that didn't have the misprint on this sleeve i probably couldn't really get away with putting this sleeve on the first press but as it is i think i probably can and even then i'll probably still make my money back on the second press if i put it in that sleeve so all in all I think is a winner. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit of a play test now um, whilst I'm eating my dinner um, and probably stick them on the market at the weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Probably a little bit of waffle. There generally is. Um, but I don't know. Keeps me interested. So I hope it keeps you interested. Um, and if it does, then so much the better. Uh, if you did like the video then uh, please uh, press the button that is specifically for that um, and subscribe to my channel um, the bargains are a little bit thin on the ground at the moment um, but hopefully i'll be back soon with a couple more to show you i'm yeah pretty keen with, uh, pretty pleased with that so uh, yeah jobs are good one. all right i hope you enjoyed the video uh, see you again soon no doubt cheers everybody bye